In 1950, there was the start of gaming, kind of. Not the gaming that we know, but the moment computers figured out how to put light on a screen. No characters, no guns, and no story. Just lights pretending to be something. That's where graphics was born. The tech that will go on to shape everything that we play. In 1958, somebody got creative. They made Tetris for two. Two dots and one line, and somehow everyone got obsessed. You couldn't move much and couldn't really win anything meaningful. But it was the first time a screen actually reacted to something someone did. That's when visuals stopped being just math and started to become play. Now, let's fast forward a few decades later. Xbox, PlayStation, and GameCube. This is where graphics change because graphics didn't just become fun. They started to feel real. We weren't just playing games, but we were living inside of them. Halo 3 skyboxes, peak game by the way, Skyrim's world, Uncharted 2 cutscenes. They were full-blown experiences. For the first time, games can make you laugh, cry, or forget what year it was. Heavy on that cry part. That was the power of graphics, the moment pixels became emotions. And the crazy part about it is, it was running on the same backbone, rasterization. The same line-by-line -line process that was started in 1950, now was creating worlds. By 2010, we had master rasterization. Lighting, shadows, and reflections was all faked, but good enough to fool your eyes every time. GPUs turned into jet engines, and every year we called it next generation. But really, it was the same trick, just maxed out. But now a shift is happening. A newer approach called neural rendering. Instead of drawing every pixel line by line, it analyzes what should be on the screen. It learns from real frames, predict motion, and reconstruct data faster than brute force ever could. For 70 years, we have been drawing pixels one by one, one pixel at a time. And your rendering doesn't really replace that. It just builds on top of it. From brute force to learned efficiency. And where that takes gaming next, we'll find out soon enough. And remember, I do the research so you don't have to.